What's up, everybody? This is Blackjack, and I'm posting today's vid for Sports Gaming Universe. Thanks again to Nada's fan for letting me do this. A quick and to the point introduction about me. I'm a video game commenter and a bit of a story developer. Over at my channel, I play mainly sports games, but I also do let's plays of other games like Saints Row and Sleeping Dogs. I currently have a unique Road to Glory series titled Two Tales. It follows two high school prospects from New Jersey on their different paths to college ball. And I've also recently started a My Player with a product from overseas. If you like great production and quality commentary, I would go check those out. Whew. Now that all the shameless self-promotion is out of the way, let's get into what you came here for, the vid. I will be bringing you the beginning of my third sports gaming series. It's a NCAA 13 Dynasty using the Wyoming Cowboys. However, there's a little spin to it. What I've kind of done here is that I've created a coach and a playbook that will be implemented at Wyoming. Meet Sam Mashburn. He runs a modified pro-style offense called the Smashburn Offense. What's that, you ask? The concept is pretty simple. The Smashburn Offense is a mostly heavy style pro offense. Basically, the offense's focus isn't so much on the wide receivers, but more on the tight ends and the backs. But don't think that you can't pass out of this. That, that, that's just silly. I love passing. But the idea is to create mismatches and matchup problems by utilizing positions like the tight end and the fullback to the maximum. That is, without using the option, which I hate. But I love fullbacks, and I can't stand how underused they are. I've grown up a Giants fan my entire life, so fullbacks have always been a staple of the offense, whether it's uh, been Jim Finn, Madison Hedgecock, or Henry Hynoski. And I've also loved watching other fullbacks like Tony Richardson, Max Strong, Leron McClain, Mike Allstott, Vonta Leach, Delaney Walker, Ovi McGailey, Leonard Weaver. I, I could really go on all that. But this offense is made for these guys and to get them in the best position to create problems for the linebackers in the secondary. This can even mean seeing an extra tackle on the line as well. This offense works best when you have a receiving tight end and a receiving fullback. While heavy blockers are great and kind of vital to this offense because there are a number of two tight end sets that you can run out of it, receiving tight ends and fullbacks open up a second dimension and in this offense you'll be able to split them off of these heavy set lines and move them into the slot or even out wide since they're a real pass threat and can create those mismatches. The concept comes from Jim Harbaugh's offense that he runs in San Fran, and because he has the perfect combo to run something like this with in Delaney Walker and Vernon Davis. Now the huge strength of this offense lies in the four formations that it runs out of. The single back, the I formation, the pistol, and the shotgun. The strong technically counts as a fifth one, but I consider that as part of the I formation. But that's what the big perk is of this offense, is that all those formations can have that heavy look. So the way that the playbook and the audibles are set up, you can get into any look that you need to, whether you're calling a play or you already have the play on the field and you need to audible out. You can start in the standard eye and then move into the shotgun. You can be in a single back heavy set and move a tight end or a tackle in as a lead blocker for a run play. There are a ton of possibilities and so many different looks you can get out of these formations. It's all about showing the defense a look seeing what they're giving you, and then reacting accordingly. But there's always so much that I can show you here in practice. You'll see enough in-game that it'll make more sense. So let's go ahead and just jump into the Dynasty. Alrighty, so first things first. I just wanted to let you know that yes, I am playing on Heisman. Recruiting difficulty is also on Heisman, and I bumped up the quarter length to about six minutes. So it'll be fun seeing what recruiting in Wyoming is like. The schedule is the same. The only thing that changed is their week three game. They played Cal Poly, who was an FCS team. They actually lost to them. Uh, so I changed them to UTEP so that there's a real team in the game. Uh, big need, they need a tight end. Um, and they need uh, linebackers and free safeties, which they are short on. Uh, they used to be a spread offense, so 10 wide receivers, as you saw there, a bit of a problem. But here's the first game of the season against Texas. Well, boys, there's a new sheriff in town. Sam Mashburn, the new head coach of the Wyoming Cowboys, makes his FBS head coaching debut, and he and that Smashburn offense have quite the task ahead of them today. The Cowboys open their season against the 22-ranked Texas Longhorns. Jack Sable here on the call today from DKR Texas Memorial Stadium as we're minutes away from the beginning of a new Wyoming campaign, and we'll see just what kind of change Coach Mashburn can bring. Wyoming, Texas coming up next. Anthony Farrow's got them all lined up. Here comes the boot. And the 2012 season is now underway. Blair Burns, eight yards back. He's going to return it. 
Get stopped, Josh. So here's our first look at quarterback Brett Smith in this new smash burn offense as Wyoming comes out in the eye formation. They have two wide receivers split, but a little close of a line. Here comes the senior Chris McNeil in motion. He's going to line up far left now. Smith's going to hand it off to Brandon Miller, who breaks off a tackle and gets a I talked with Coach Mashburn before the game today, and he says he really wants to get his tight end, Spencer Bruce, featured today. So we'll be keeping a close eye on number 25 as they line up in the I formation. Uh, Smith goes ahead and moves the fullback, Lang, into motion. He's up at the line now as Smith, for his first pass today, hits Lang over the middle. He spent a lot of time with Brett Smith in the offense to kind of get them on the same page, to learn the formations and how to move around in it as they install this new hybrid pro-style offense going away from the spread. As uh, they line up in the pistol for the first time today, Ruffrin moves in motion to the left-hand side. Smith takes the snap. He's going to hand it off to Miller. Can't get the room. To and here comes Wyoming now in the new look 3-4 defense as David Ash will take the first drive for the Longhorns as he drops back. Virus quickly over the middle to Marquis. Texas out in the eye formation for second and three. Wyoming showing blitz. Here it comes. David Ash gets it out quickly. That's a live ball as Mark and Zacha brought the heat on that one. Third and six now, and we may be calling Gonzaga's name a lot because Mashburn loves to bring the heat with the safeties as Ash is in the shotgun here. Going to fire to the left, hits Grant, and gets jumped. First and ten now for Texas as they come out in the shotgun. Marquise Goodwin in motion. He gets the ball on a jet sweep. He has room, makes a little move. He's got the first down. Brought down just at the second and five now after the Bergeron run. Ash in the gun here, takes the snap. Wyoming only brings three, and Ash has all day to throw. Finally fires towards the end zone. Broken up. Ash takes the snap. Looking. Fires over the middle. Guess who? Marquise Goodwin. Longhorns get the first points of the game. Let's see if Mashburn can get that running offense going as Smith is lined up in the pistol. Hand off to Miller and he's met by Ashton Dor Second and 11 now as they line up in the single back three wide. Smith takes the snap from under center. Pressured, sacked. It's Dorsey. It is absolutely deafening out here at DKR as this crowd is loud for this third and 17. Smith lined up in the pistol. No, he's going to line up in the center now. Play clock's ticking. He, he's going to have to call time out here. He's still calling an audible. And he just barely gets the playoff. And Smith winds up deep downfield. He's got a man. It's Ruffin. Huge completion right there. First and 10 now after that huge conversion. They're inside enemy territory for the first time today. As Smith calls an audible out of the full house pistol into the strong pistol. That's what Mashburn likes to do. As Smith drops back here, a danger. And look at this heavy formation they're running out there. That is an extra tackle out there with the tight end on the right hand side. It's going to be a handoff to Miller. He breaks the tackle and gains. Third and five. Bunch formation here, almost identical, just with two tight ends and two wide receivers now. As Smith drops back, finds Miller over the middle, first down, and pistol formation, and they've got Trips Bunch close to the line, right side. Smith calling an audible. He's going to hand it off to Miller, but to no Two for three on third down conversions today, so let's see if they can pick it up here. As Smith is alone in the gun, they've got quads left. Texas looks like they're in the zone. They may be able to exploit something here. As Smith takes the snap, looking fastball down the middle, and he just missed Trey Norman. He wishes for this Wyoming defense after they settle for a field goal. First and 10 here for Texas in the I formation as they run a toss to Bergeron, who breaks the tackle, and this is bad. He's loose. Breaks another tackle, and he's stopped by Mike Purcell, but not before a huge game. Nearing midfield, David Ash calls a man in motion. He'll take the snap. Quickly fire down on wide receiver screen. It's covered, but no one makes a tackle. And now Shipley's free. And stopped just inside the 10 yard line. They had him dead to run. First and goal now as they're lined up in the shotgun formation inside the red zone again. Shipley in motion. He'll get it on the jet sweep. Breaks one tackle. Hit hard by Nzacha as he fumbled the football, but it was picked up by a Texas lineman. But what a huge hit! by Mark and Zacha. Look at it one more time. Hit Shipley, nice, clean, hard hit. As he forces a fumble, unfortunately, Texas recovers. And second and goal now for Texas. They come out in the eye. And it's gonna be a handoff to Bergeron and Alex Borgs. We'll see if they bring any pressure in that 3-4. They don't, they only bring three as Ash has all day to throw. Looking, still rolling right now. Pressured, fires, deflected. Get back to work on offense now. 
Smith calling an audible. He's going to move from the single back now into the pistol. I got to say, that's at least really fun to watch. As Smith takes the snap, fires it out to Riley Lang, his fullback, who rumbles for... Here they come again in that single back jumbo formation here for second and six with that extra tackle lined up to the right hand side. He's going to be called in motion now and he's a lead blocker straight up the middle. Miller for a first down. That's a great call to get your running offense going. And there's a flag for a holding and all of that will be now in the single back for second and 15. Smith will take the snap and drops back. He's looking. Steps up. Sacked. Third and 21 now, and the crowd's getting loud again as they're lined up in the shotgun. Off wing set. Smith takes the snap. Steps up. Sacked again. Second and 10 after the incompletion as Texas has a chance to pull away here before the half. Ash drops back. Fires to his tight end. It's Grant that he has on the right side. Inside the red zone, it's second and three now for Texas as they line up in the I formation. Ash on play action. Fires. Guess who again? Marquise Goodwin for touchdown number two. Let's see if Wyoming can put together some sort of response here. It'll be first and ten out of a shotgun. Smith takes the snap. Fires right side. That's his tight end, Bruce. First catch of the day. Shotgun with split backs. As Smith takes the snap. Looking. Fires it out to Ruffin on the right side. Gets out of bounds. Inside of enemy territory now for this first and ten. Smith from the pistol. Fires right. Got Bruce again. And now Smith has got this offense cooked. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 now. Smith under center with one back, three wide. He's going to move Heron in motion from the slot. Lining him next to Bruce, possibly looking for a mismatch here. As Smith drops back, fires quickly. Bruce over the middle. He's free. Touchdown. Big Brucey gets the first. David Ash takes the snap. Fires over the middle, and Davis catches it. Wyoming should call timeout here. No, wait a minute. Texas is going to run the hurry up. They're, they're trying to score again. Third and five. Ash takes the snap. It's a screen. It's covered. Almost picked off by Pulatazzi. And now with three timeouts, Wyoming gets the... Could be a huge opportunity for the Cowboys as Smith drops back the pass. Fires over the middle. He's got big Brucey. You can't miss the guy. First and ten. They're lined up in the pistol formation. Smith will take the snap, fires it out quickly outside to his fullback, that's Riley Lang, who picks up a quick gain of five, and Mac Brown's got to be worried, here comes the cap. Smith takes the snap, steps up, and he's sacked, they're going to have to call timeout, and they do. Eight seconds and a timeout, you can either attack the middle of the field, or head down the sidelines, here's Smith, steps up, has a man, it's Ruffin, hits him inside the 10 yard, Sullivan to try from 24 yards out. They were down 17 to three with under two minutes to go. Thanks to Coach Mashburn, they will head into the half only down four. Let's see if that Wyoming defense can keep the pressure on as Texas will start off the third quarter. Bergeron handoff going nowhere. Oliver Shoburn. Texas running their pistol now as the Wyoming defensive line shifts left. Ash takes the snap. Fires left side, deflected. On third and 12, and Wyoming would love to get this three and out. Here comes the pressure. They bring five. Ash fires right side. Overthrown. Incomplete. No, they're calling it a catch. Are you kidding me? Inexcusable by the refs. We saw the replay. He was out of bounds, and they didn't let Mashburn review it. As Ash drops back the pass here, he hit Shipley over the middle for another single back formation. First and 10 now. They've got two wide. Goodwin comes in motion. Here comes Ash. Pressure on him. That's Devin Harris in the single back formation for second and 10. Ash drops back, fires left side towards the sideline as Mike Davis wide open, touchdown Longhorns. Oh, that drive makes me sick. One bad call and now the momentum is in favor of Texas. The good news is that the offense has put up 10 points in their last two possessions as Sutton goes in motion out of the pistol full house formation. And the handoff is to Miller straight up the middle. They've got to get it going now as it's third and seven. They line up in the single back, a bunch formation, two wide, two tight ends. As Smith drops back, fires quickly outside to Ruffin on the left side. First and ten, we are now inside of Longhorn territory as we're lined up in the I formation. Handoff going to the fullback, that's Riley Lang who powers his way 
straight through for a first down. 11 yards on the play, and look at Riley rumble his way through. And that's the way to get your big boy excited. Here we come, knocking on the door. Bunch formation in the pistol. Smith, play action, looking, fires. That's a dangerous throw, and it's picked off. That's Thompson who picks it off. Second and six now uh, after the huge turnover. And Texas comes out in the I formation. It's going to do play action. And they hit Shipley over the middle. That's a first down as David Adams. Second and ten now as Texas comes out in the shotgun. You, you got to get that feeling that they're ready to put this one away as Ash drops back. They're trying to set up the screen. It is picked off. That's Blair Burns with the interception. And... There is new life now in this Wyoming offense. First and ten. Out of the strong formation. Miller left side for a quick gain of four. Smith takes the snap. Fires quickly outside. Hits Miller on the left side for a quick first. Two passes, two incompletions. Third down. They're in the shotgun with split backs. Smith will take the snap. Fires quickly over to his fullback. If you're going to gamble and go for it, now's the time. Fourth and five out of the pistol. Smith rolls out right. He's got a man open. He can't get it out in time. Turn. First and ten now for Texas. They come out in the I formation. Here comes the blitz. Pressure on Ash. Got him. Golly Muhammad. Third and 18 now. This Wyoming defense poised to make another stand. Ash drops back. And Goodwin gets open again. And he picked up the first. In the red zone now. First and 10 for Texas. And they're going to run a handoff here to Bergeron who gets to the outside. And Mah Texas is six yards away. It's first and goal. They bring Goodwin in motion. And Ash takes the snap from under center. Trying to run. And Sacha sacks him in the back. Second and goal now. Strong formation now for Texas. And Ash will drop back. He's going to fire overthrown. A stop here to give the offense a chance. Ash takes the snap. Moving right. Firing. Almost picked off. The defense did what they could. It's a two possession game. You've got to start attacking downfield. Wyoming out in the shotgun formation with split backs. They're setting up a screen pass for Miller. He's got blockers in room. He's loose and DKR is silent. 20, 10, touchdown Wyoming. And just like that, they're... The point after is up and good. And a gutsy call, a screen to that man right there. Puts him in position for the upset. Can Wyoming make one more stand as Texas is trying to get tricky here? Coming out in the Wildcat, Brown in motion, but Bergeron will keep it. He's gonna throw it back to Brown and that's going nowhere. David Ash will hand it off to Bergeron. Slips one tackle and is down. You have all three timeouts, which will put even less pressure on the offense if they can get this stop here. Hand off to Bergeron. Purcell will have none of it. Meets him in the 55 yards away from an upset, and DKR is getting loud again. Smith hand off to Sutton. Stopped in the second and 11. Out of the pistol. Smith takes the snap. Steps up. No! No, we can't end like that. Not like that. Not like that. Brett Smith must be sick to his stomach. Oh, God bless him. Oh, no. A huge hit by Dorsey. Saves the game for Texas, and they'll take over. Well, you can't say those boys didn't fight. They showed a ton of heart in a game most thought they'd be blown out by number 22, Texas. And as sad as it was to see Brett Smith lose that way, he should be proud of the way he performed today. Hell, the whole team should be proud but there's no column for moral victories final score here at dkr wyoming 20 texas 27 player of the game today no doubt marquise goodwin a major factor for the longhorns on offense today both on the ground and through the air be sure to join us next week for the home opener against toledo and hopefully this team shows up like this again and takes home a w jack sable here signing off once again, thanks to Nottis Fan for allowing me to post on Sports Gaming Universe Forum. And uh, for everybody who checked out my video today, if you liked what you saw, you can go ahead to my channel and subscribe to me. It's It's Black Jacks Media. I know it's a little on the long side, and, and that may seem a little cryptic, but in the description, you will see 
a link that will link you to my channel. You can click there and subscribe to me that way. Take care, guys. Blackjack out.